Hey guys, it's Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited 2. And my controller has already disconnected. Ah, this is going to be another one of those days, isn't it? Um, so we are here at the Japanese tuner, and we are going to upgrade our car as high as we can go, which for our area is only level 1 at the moment. Um, but level 1 is better than level 0, I suppose. Um, break in, we get ourselves up to 77, so that seems pretty good. Let's just get that all fitted, and then what we're going to do, we are going to go and start the A6 High Championship. And then uh, once we've done that championship, we're then going to do a load of the like DLC side mission kind of things. Um, get ourselves some more money and then next episode we should hopefully start seeing some uh, different changes something cool um, so we need to go here GPS target but we are going to fast travel mm, where do we fast travel here, pointing that way. Um, hopefully it doesn't send us down the dirt road. It's going to send us down the dirt road, isn't it? Oh no, it's not a dirt road. Okay, never mind. What's this? or challenges created by players. Ah, racing center. That is cool, but that is locked because the servers aren't working anymore. But that is very cool that there's like a dedicated building. So I know it's a bit of a difference, but not too much. Um Ah. Oh my gosh, that cop car's right up my ass. Move! Yo, the sky just changed. I think it's uh, officially night time now. Well, we didn't bank it in time. Gutted. But here, I can see the championship in the distance. Where is it? Where's it gone? Here it is. The A6 championship. Let's go. Oh, there was no cutscene. Oh, that's disappointing. Right, uh, let's first start out speed traps. Let's do that first. The fact is, from all of these races, I'm only going to earn, like, 24 grand. But, in the long run, at the end of it, if I win, you get 110 grand. It's a huge paycheck for, hopefully, what's happening in the next episode. Right, uh, we're gonna go for this one. I was gonna go for the other one. 
We've got a load of speed going into that though. Fastest speed there. Uh, let's see how much speed we can get into this. Number two. Right, let's go, let's go. A hundred and two, that is really good. Ah! Goodbye, stop style. What are you doing? Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Okay, I'll make it. I'll make it. Just about. Eighty-five. First place. Nice. Uh, that is good. Right, let's go to the next one. Uh, which is, let's do this, 6.1 mile event, around the hill. Stop. We meet again live at Solar Crown with all your favorite drivers. Miami, the Wilder Brothers, Stewart, they're all here. And we're off. And we're off. Quick, slow down, slow down. Nice. I'm also looking forward to uh, carrying on with the Classic Championship, um, going up to C3, because C3 is going to be a really good championship to compete in. We're going to have all those really nice, like, expensive cars in that one, rather than just old, classic, knackered cars, they're all old, classic, beautiful. They are amazing. And classic cars look really good in this game as well. You can get some really cool images in photo mode. I don't know how you get into photo mode, but there is a way. Actually, it might be... Uh, yeah, this is it. Photo mode. We could easily do some like rally cross or something like that going off road in this. That's not gone so well. Managed to recover though, just about. Checkpoint. Now. 
Just corner cut in there. Uh, dab of the brakes to go down a gear. For some reason, I was in sixth going at 100 miles an hour. That's not right. It should be like fourth for that gear. Fifth. And here we go, the final destination. Finished. 20 points total, let's go to the next event. What level are we? Uh, progress and objectives. We are level 9, so we are not far off the uh, next episode then. Uh, that's a 12.4 mile eliminator. Um, let's go for this one. Country roads. Take me home. To the place. I belong. West Virginia. Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. I had to do that, I'm sorry. That was the most cringiest thing ever. I like how this is what they call country roads here. Country roads in the UK look nothing like this. In the UK, they're one lane. Let's try that again. In the UK, they're one lane with traffic going in both directions. Right? So, and the speed limit is technically national speed limit, which is 60 miles an hour. Because it's a single lane road. If it was a dual lane... Like, this is still a single lane road. If it's a dual lane, you can go 70. I've been learning about me uh, driving laws. I've done it again. Why does that happen? Right, this time we're going to do it. There we go. A hundred and sixty seven miles an hour this car hits. Twenty two points penalty for more speed. Why did that car come out of nowhere? First place, anyways. Oh, only just. Only just. The other car got one thousand and fifteen. Uh, right, let's go for this one next. 3.8 miles. It's not too far. Start. Live from the starting line for a new challenge of Solar Crown. Who will win today? The bets are on.
Oh, that sound is amazing. I don't like that camera angle anymore. I used to love it, but I just don't see the point in it. I mean, what's the point in not being able to see your car? Tunnel time. The windows don't change the sound like they do in Test Drive Unlimited 1. Really annoying. It's probably annoying as well me changing the camera angle, I'm sorry. There we go. We're getting air as well. Woo! Well, we are 23 seconds ahead. I'm pretty sure I'm not worried about two seconds of penalty. This is insane, this car. And this is A6. I think I found a good one. See, normally I would take the convertible Audi in the past two ones that I played. Because I only ever got to A6 and then that was it. So I am now actually higher up than what I did before. But I would always take the Audi. Uh, there's a convertible Audi TTRS. Um, they've also got the normal TT, um, so it's the last generation TT, of course. Um, but I would always take that, and, and we're off for a new competition of Solar Crown. Good luck to there all it is. Of you, and I'll see you at the finish line. Oh no, that's the normal Audi TT. I don't think the convertible's actually in this lineup. That might be it at the back. Could be the convertible one. Oh my gosh, look at us picking up speed. All the dots are off the map. We are miles ahead. Uh, that miles ahead was a uh, very short lift. <laughs> Tess is flying though. And surprisingly managed to keep control of that.
Andrew, get out of my way! Spun, I've spun. Oh no. Okay, we've still got another uh, six, five checkpoints to go. Six if you include the finish, which that counter includes. For some reason, they include the finish, it really bugs me. British Cars North unlocked. Nice, managed to get around that corner quite cleanly, actually. <laughs> Didn't go clean around that corner, but this is an off-road vehicle, so it's not a problem. That might be a problem, though. Pylon ugh, getting in the way. They're not destructible in this game, and it's really off-putting. Because in Forza, you can just cut off the power to the whole neighbourhood if you want to. Just crash into one of the pylons. No more power. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Not a problem. This you can't. And it's so annoying. Looks like they uh, just stopped building that road. Just finished. You know what? We don't need this road anymore. That's it. I always wonder how they design these maps, though. Do they design them based on the tracks they're going to put on it? Or do they design the map and then just make tracks? That's one thing I've... I don't really know. I mean, I don't do um, game development or stuff like that. So it would be interesting to know. So if you know of anyone who does, uh, like, game development... I, I'm... I'm all ears. I'm interested to learn. Interested to learn. I can't speak. <laughs> uh. Right, just don't get eliminated in the first lap, that's all I say. NYW Paris. Oh, we might have to give that a look at some point. Nice! That was a good corner there. Even playing this after eight episodes, I've only been recording for three days, maybe four, of this, and I am still loving it as much as I did on day one, maybe even more than on day one. I'm just enjoying this so much, and I didn't, I always said this was one of the best racing games out there, but I never actually sort of experience it all to say oh yeah it's definitely the best 
But now I'm experiencing more of it, it really is one of the best. Ryan Wilder has been knocked out. I've just realised how many checkpoints we've got. 78. This race is going to take a while. But then I have another 38 minutes to record, so that is fine. <clears throat> The first video still hasn't gone live yet. I've been enjoying this so much. It's like, I think, um, thir today is Saturday. Thursday was, um, what was it? The final episode of Need for Speed The Run, which means tomorrow is probably going to be the start of Test Drive Unlimited 2. Um, but yesterday, last night, we uploaded uh, Forza Friday, uh, the first episode, so you can use that as a reference if you look. It's probably been a week now, maybe even two weeks, since the first Forza Friday came out. As of time of uploading, probably. So, yeah, we've definitely um, done quite a lot. <laughs> I'm guessing after this as well, we'll probably get the test duel because we've beaten her on A7 and A6. Um, there may not be a duel. You never know. Um, I was kind of expecting one after A7, but we didn't get one. So I presume there'll be one after A6 once you've completed both higher ones. If that makes sense. It made sense in my head, but probably not on paper. We're on lap number four now. We're not even halfway yet. And I'm guessing Chris Wilder is going to get knocked out this time. There we go. Gone. I like how Andrew is really far ahead as well, because this car is powerful. We picked a good car for the A Championship. What was that? Six twenty eight ahead. Six fifty four. This car should have probably been classed as a five, to be honest. It might not be. We might get to A5 and we get, like, Porsches. Wow. Roofs. R-U-F's. I don't know how you say it. I think it's rough.
Let's try a first person lap. Oh, we've already messed up. That's amazing. He's catching up from behind. Slowly but surely. We've lost the ding noises now. <laughs> I think the game keeps bugging out at like high checkpoint races when it just like all the ding noises, the checkpoint noises just stop. They just all stop. All right, second to last lap. Eight minutes. Jeez, this is long. Miami got knocked out, which is surprising because Miami started in seventh. I've done it again. Well, Tess is definitely getting knocked out, which gives us like a guaranteed win. Come on, come on, let's go. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Seven point five seconds. Squeeze between there that time. <coughs> there we go. Oh. And there's the final checkpoint. <clears throat> and we run away with the win. Woohoo! Ibiza Area 1. <gasps> oh! Ibiza Area 1 Cup. I suppose congratulations. Nice. This time. But rest assured, you haven't heard the last of me. We'll meet again on the track soon enough. Oh, she sounds really pissed. We are now level 10. We are now someone. And we've unlocked something new that we can find now in a another probably next episode okay so we are here at this extreme convoy event it is a audi q7 i think so it's a big off-road one i need to take my car to be serviced but i don't have time to go can you take it for me and try not to damage it 
Yep, we should be able to do that. Hopefully it's not too far, but it gives us 24 grand. Two point two miles. That seems fair enough. One point six miles left to go. So this is actually a uh, what level is this? I think it's a B three car. So this I think is used for the even higher up <gasps> off road championship. Ah! I saw those stones in the road and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna hit them. Well, your car will definitely need a car wash as well as a service. Let's put it that way. Now, now, now. And here we go, we're at the repair place. Why I need to take it to the middle of nowhere to get service. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. And that is that done. So a new so I can actually upgrade my Subaru now to a level 2 if I want to. Um, you know what? Let's treat the Subi. Whereabouts is it? Here we go. Let's go give it a level 2 upgrade. Why not? Uh, acceleration. We want this one. Speed, we want this one. And braking, we want this one. <laughs> All you hear is just footsteps. And there we go. Oh, it looks amazing though, the Subaru. A new wreck is available. Oh yeah, it shows you areas where the wrecks are for the DLC. Um, but I am going to probably end this episode here. Uh, we got the cosmetic surgery, can't forget about that. Uh, right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.